what's going on everybody kwaku here back with another video today i have for you an app review for the app called canva now, this is like my third time recording this let's hope this goes well and smoothly uh what canva is basically is an app on the microsoft store of course it is on the microsoft store that allows you to create like custom designs for things logos and you see right here instagram posts invitations basically all kinds of custom graphic stuff custom uh designs for marketing materials and things like that you can even do presentations with it you can see you can do like powerpoint style presentations social media post style things you can even make videos with it if you want let's say it's a birthday video whatever it is you can it can help you create like print products such as such as um what is it like business cards uh, postcards and so on um like i said marketing materials uh office materials let's say you're trying to create a resume or whatever it is that's attractive you can use their resume builder um, and then there's a whole lot more here. They got a whole bunch of things, infographics and just a ton more things. So yeah, there's a lot built into this. Um, there are two tiers of this application. There is the free tier, which is what I'm gonna show you. And then there's also the pro tier, which I'll mention. Um, in the free tier, you get pretty much full access to the whole application, except for a few things like background removals and certain things like that um, and brand stuff, which I'll show you in a second. And then in the... Uh, you know the free tier you get everything else so let's go in there so right here you got the sidebar here which allows you to see all your designs uh, when you look through here you probably will notice that i have actually um used this before for thumbnails because again you can make your youtube thumbnails if you're new to youtube and you don't know how to design things and you're scared of how do i make a custom thumbnail you can just use canva since it's free and you can make a custom thumbnail um, so you can see all the various thumbnails that I have made with it in the past. I don't use it anymore for thumbnails, um, but you can see all the custom thumbnails you can make uh, shared with you. Basically, what that means is uh, if someone shares something with you straightforward, right? You can see that project there and you can click it and modify it to heart's content. Uh, you got folders here, which basically just organize your things into various areas, things you purchase, trash is trash. And then a fun, interesting thing here is team. It's not Microsoft Teams, it's just, it allows you to form a group with a bunch of people or with a person, let's say your business partner, because um, most of the people who will be using Canva are probably gonna be small business owners. They own an Etsy store, they own a little small blog, and they wanna do nice marketing material out there, a nice post, uh, blog post headers and things like that. So you can form that, type in team name, whatever it is, and then you can type, type in their email and name and send them a link to this team. And then you can create things together so you can collaborate. Trash is trash. And this is where I was talking about with BrandKit. Basically what BrandKit is, is BrandKit allows you to import your, your logo and whatever it is. You see Canva has examples with just the Canva logo. Um, allows you to import your logo, import your colors and things like that. And basically, like they say here, set and forget colors, fonts, and logos. Basically, if you have Pro, which I used to have Pro when they gave me a free trial, um, you can import your logo like I used to. You can import your brand colors. And in my opinion, my brand colors are orange and red, like you see on the channel banner. Um, and then you can import fonts, which my fonts are not listed here. But as long as for me, is it's it's a sans serif font, which is basically means a font that does not have the little extra things sticking off of it and stuff, the swoops and stuff. I don't mind it. You can preset fonts and things like that. That way, let's say you don't want to think about that anymore. You can just preset all those things, have those things ready to go, have your color palette set to go, uh, have your logo ready to go. That way, when you create a new project, which you can do right here, uh, you can just go to that section and automatically have your colors uh, shown there. You can just click them and they're already there. So it's pretty dope seeing that there. You can select a bunch of colors, more than just two. Uh, then you got your content planner, which again, this is clearly for someone who owns a small shop, small business, a small blog, something like that, where they don't have a huge team of people. And basically it says here, create plan and schedule social media across your favorite platforms within Canva. And so basically it is just like it says, you can set uh, various social media. Let's say I wanna use this uh, Canva thing that I'll show you guys in a second. I can set it to show and it'll schedule the post of it. Um, and then it'll publish it at whatever time and moment that I set it to do that way. I don't have to think about it. I can just create a bunch of designs. Let's say I post every morning at 7 a.m. I can create a bunch of designs every single day or in one day and have them scheduled out to be uh, 
put on my social media every single day at 7 a.m. And I don't have to think about it. Canva will just manage that. So that's pretty dope. Um, and But that's unfortunately, other than sketch, scheduling is a paid feature. Uh, publishing now is a free feature, as you saw back there. So that's another dope thing. Now, let me go back home here. You can see up here uh, you got tab support. So I'm going to click on this one in a second, but I'll show you the rest of the application. Um, you can make multiple tabs, which means you can start multiple projects at a time. So let's say you want to do a Facebook cover page and then you want to do a YouTube cover page, whatever it is. Let's say this was my cover page. It would allow me essentially to uh, create, say, oh, let's say a Facebook post. It allowed me to create a Facebook post, and then let's say I want to refer back to my YouTube post, whatever it is. I can click on this one, and I can compare real easily instead of having to click out, open up the other one, and then bring it back in. It, it just saves time in that way. So again, this is an application for small businesses, individuals, um, you know, small shop owners, uh, bloggers, things like that. Just people who are like one or two men uh, armies, and that's about it. So let's go into what I have created here. Now, what I created here um, is going to be the thumbnail for this video because I created it when I was trying to make the video in the past. Um, and basically, what I did was, uh, for, in fact, before I even mention what I did, uh, you got here on this new sidebar here, you can obviously resize. Uh, you got your file here. You see the size of it. You can edit the name of your file just by clicking it and you can type in whatever, create new design, show rulers. If I click that, it shows the exact rulers of it in pixels. Um, recently used, for you, and so on. You can just keep going through. And then this is this area is the template view. So if you wanna search for a type of template, let's say you're doing a fashion blog post. You can see fashion. If I click fashion, you can see, you know, kinda hip uh, fashion style blog posts that you can, uh, use for the top of your blog post and you see the things with the crown next to it are things that you have to have pro for or purchase in order to get access to that um, and then if you go to elements here these are elements that you can add to your project some of them are vectors some of them are regular uh, image files vectors being that they don't have a background uh, this one is a vector because it doesn't have a background hit delete keep going through you got a whole bunch you can search inside it as well uh, you got your uploads, so you can see that I was uploading things in the past. You can see some of the things that I uploaded because they ended up on the channel. You can do those things as well. Videos, audio, same thing. You can make videos on here, like I said in the beginning. You got text as well, and these are different kinds of text. You kind of have like your clip art style things, and all of these are editable. You, it's not just an image. If I drag in this glow thing, right, and drag it in here, this is completely customizable. I can type in next, and it glows. I can change the color of this thing, even my brand colors, change it to a brand color automatically and it will just be there and then I can click away and it's just there. See, bam, it's just there. However, if I hit delete, it deletes and it's gone. I can choose any of these as long as I have either the free tier or if you hit the crown ones, you need the paid tier, which is the Canva Pro. Uh, and then you got your backgrounds. Uh, what these will do, you've probably seen this again in the beginning of the channel when I first started last April in uh, April 2020. I used this in the very beginning uh, to make my thumbnails for some of the app reviews. So if I drag this down, you can see this kind of mechanical kind of steel style background. You can use that. And basically the background section, the difference between that one and maybe the templates and other things is that background, it'll automatically, anything you drag in won't go into the foreground. It'll go directly to the very back of your file. So you have to kind of move things out of the way to see it. So that's pretty cool. And there's a whole bunch here. You can again, search and choose colors and things like that for all of that stuff, all those elements. And then this is an interesting one um, right here. You got your stock image gallery here and there's a whole bunch of other things when I hit more in a second. Uh, this is using Pixabay, a free stock image gallery. So you won't get copyrighted or anything like that for this. Uh, and basically, you can search for whatever you want that's hopefully available on Pixabay and drag that in your file. So this woman here, you can drag her in and she's just in there. Uh, I can just do this and you can see that it snaps into the full screen of the picture. So that's pretty cool. It just automatically fills the screen. You can obviously resize it. And then going down one more thing, you got your more. More has literally a ton. When I say a ton, I mean a ton of things going on with it. Uh, you can, there's a ton of app integrations. There's another uh, stock image gallery, Pexels, that I used to use as well. Um, there you can embed things in, emojis you can bring in. You can go bring things in from Google Maps, QR codes, Giphy, Instagram. 
you know, Dropbox, a whole bunch of things. Even YouTube, you can bring things in from Bitmoji, and this, the list just keeps going. There's a lot. You can even custom draw things right here by from Draw right here. It's in beta. So that's there's a lot that goes on with this. Now, what I wanted to show you all was something very interesting. Now, you might wonder how did I end up putting uh, this picture of a Windows 11 screen, basically my Windows 11 screen, into an iMac without using something like Photoshop. Now, that was actually very simple. So what I would do is I just click the image and then I hit edit image and then you get a bunch more things. This is where the background remover tool comes in and that you see there's a crown so it's paid. I can't show you that because I don't have the paid tier. You can adjust the images, filters, and this is where I was talking about right here, smart mockups. There's also a bunch of other things down here such as face retouch, autofocus, auto enhance, and so on, shadows, but smart mockups is where you wanna be. Okay, so what I can do is I can put this whole image you see here, including this image here, um, into one of these. So it says your design here. That's where the design will end up. So I can scroll through. There's a whole bunch of options here. There's literally a ton of options here. Greeting cards, frames, just all kinds of things here. So let's say, let's say I want to put my design, I don't know, in this picture frame right here. This picture frame that is on the table. I want this whole thing to end up in there, even if it's in vertical orientation or it's in horizontal orientation. Let's click it. It'll automatically adjust and bam, just like that, that design is inside it right there. And if I can hit position, you can position things and move things around just like that. So already that design is in there. There's nothing now in the background at all. And that design that I just showed you is now in that background already. And it looks like, it looks like this is not even a picture. This, it, it looks like uh, I took a picture of this and it just happened to appear. And that's how amazing that I like Canva. Um, I don't use it on my thumbnails anymore, but that's how amazing it is that you can do a lot of nitty gritty things with it. If I hit Control S or Control Z, you can go back uh, and you see that now it's readjusted and gone back to normal. Now, I'll just tell you that hitting Control and holding it, that's just a feature of Power, power Toys. It's not on your normal computer and it's not part of Canva. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do with it. Um, it's a ton, just a ton of things. Last thing before I go, like I said, there is Try Canva Pro. You click it. It says here for me right now, there's a trial for three months for $649 for every month. Um, you can claim this, whatever it is, and then you can share it. You can share this to anybody. And then you can also see insights of how people reacted towards it on your social media. Let's say you schedule out uploading to social media. You got the three dots that lets you just do other, other things with it. Choose things for print to get it ready for print. So if you want to print this image out and officially and let it come to your house, you can do that. And then you got download here, which allows you to pick different file types like JPEGs, PNGs, uh, PDFs, and so on, even MP4s and GIFs. So there's a whole lot there. Um, other thing before I go, uh, sizing is set before you create uh, a design in Canva. So if, if you don't change the sizing before you create it, you cannot adjust it in the later on with the free tier. On the pro tier, you can adjust it uh, in the middle of your creation. You can do transparent backgrounds and so on and even save the download settings. So if I hit download just like that, uh, you can see that it is loading up its thing and it's gonna start downloading and there you go. So if I hit download, save, Boom, your design is done. I can copy and paste it, and there you go. So that's, in a nutshell, Canva. Canva for Windows 11, Canva for Windows 10. The application is the same on every single platform. Canva is available on Android, iOS, uh, which includes iPad and iPhone. It's available on the web, because this is essentially a web wrapper. In fact, they advertise it on the Microsoft Store as essentially a web wrapper without the distractions of putting it in a browser with all the other tabs you'll have. So it's a pretty nice application. It supports drag and drop from your desktop and everything like that. It supports taking screenshots that are thing and with things that are on your clipboard and just control V or pasting it directly in without having to save them first. So that's pretty nice. It supports a lot of things, which is pretty dope. So if you are an up and coming creator or you wanna create something or a small business or you have a blog, whatever it is, and let's say you're using Windows, Canva is available in the Microsoft Store. You can take a look at it for yourself. It's pretty good. It's not fluent. It doesn't have any Micah design language or anything like that. The rounded corners have nothing to do with Windows 11. It's just how they design things. So it doesn't follow any of the design language of what we're used to with Windows 11. But that's fine with me as long as it works well, which it does. 
My name is Kwaku. Hope this was useful for everybody. Take care. Mm-hmm.